Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to play Nicktoons Nicktoons on Windows 10. Now what you're going to need is OTVDM, a copy of Nicktoons Nicktoons, or you could download the ISO I have in the description, and a microphone that connects with a headphone jack. Uh, you can use the one that comes with the game if you want. First what you want to do is to put the game in your PC. Again, if you're using the ISO, make sure you download Daemon Tools or any other program that allows you to use a virtual drive and then go into the disk directory. Now normally if you try to install the game, it won't work because it's a 16-bit installer, which is why you need OTVDM. Now you're going to extract OTVDM wherever you want. And once it's extracted, you're going to go in and you're going to find the program otvdm.exe. Now that we found that, we're going to go back to the disk directory, take the installer, and drag and drop it onto that program. After this, you will be asked to accept something. Uh, click on yes. And uh, what OTVDM does is it runs older installers that won't work on modern hardware. So now that we're in the installer, you just install the game as you normally would. Uh, you won't get this message. I, I installed this game before just to make sure it would work. And now the game is installing. Uh, it is gonna take a little bit, so I'm gonna cut to when it's done. All right, uh, once the game is finished installing, it will load you into the calibration screen, which leads me to talk about the microphone. Now, the reason why people haven't really played the game is because of the VGA input on the microphone that comes with the game. You see, the microphone that the game comes with has two different ports that need to be plugged in. One is a simple headphone jack, and the other is this VGA input. I'm not even sure the specific name for it. Anyway, the VGA input has been the, like, the most confusing part of the game and is the reason why not a lot of people, you know, have played it. Well, actually, as it turns out, the VGA input is actually not required to play the game. You see, what this does is that it's for the button on the microphone. Um, the microphone is supposed to function kind of like a Wii Remote where you point it at the screen and the cursor would move around. Um, it turns out everything you can do with the microphone you could just do with the mouse. So if a character says, use your microphone to click on something, you could just use your mouse to click on it instead. I have tried this out with a couple of different microphones, obviously one of them being the one that comes with the game. I've tried it with this other generic microphone, and I've also tried it with my headset. The headset does not work. Headsets will not work with this, unless you can find one that works. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the generic microphone that wasn't built for the game. Now what you're going to do is plug the microphone into the microphone jack. It doesn't matter if it's the one on the back or the front. I've tested out both. They work perfectly. Anyway, now that I have addressed the microphone, back to the calibration screen. Now at the calibration screen, there'll be two different buttons here, next and cancel. Now do not click on next. If you click on next, the game will crash. What you want to do is click on cancel and it will close you out of the calibration screen. Once you cancel out of that, a box should pop up asking you if you want to play the game. And from that point, you click play. And there you go. We've got it working here. Let me just skip through these opening credits. Here we go. Um, it'll bring you back to the calibration screen again. Click cancel. I'm just going to go into my program. Again, I've tested out this before. And to show you that the microphone works, I'm going to go into the Mix Master Room and test it out for you folks. Alright. Test, test, test. This is a test. Good job. Do you want to hear how it sounded? Just click on the payback button. And play, play. Test, test, test. This is a test. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Let's do it again. All right. Uh, now that you've seen that, I'm going to close out of the game because bye characters bye. keep talking. 
that. Yes. All right, and that is how you get Nicktoons Nicktoons working on Windows 10. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope a lot of you will be able to play the game now. Hopefully it will get more coverage now. Um, I think this is by far my last contribution to Nicktoons Nicktoons. I don't think there's anything else I could really say about the game. Uh, if you experience any problems doing this, then I don't have any answers to them. The only problems I know about is that the microphone can get very bad quality if you get close to it, but that's obviously understandable. And the other problem is that the game audio is somewhat quiet. I don't really know how to fix that. But if you can look past those things, then the game should be fine for you. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you soon.